Oh. Bro, all this heavy artillery? For what? The child. Oh. Girl. Wow, that was a nice shot. Mm -hmm. Woo! Woo! Oh, there's oh, your cover. Geez. Yep. One more shot to that. So you gotta take out the guy behind that guy. Oh, he's gonna oh, push it down. There you go. That's pretty smart. Yeah. That's pretty smart. Damn. Damn. Ooh, damn. Bowling with them troopers. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this. Ooh. Ooh. Lit. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yo, Boba is really out here. Yo, he really bout that action. Dang. Damn. Damn. I'm just mad that Mandel just left his jetpack there. Yeah. I just don't understand that decision. I don't know. That's the first thing I would have grabbed. Like, that's the like spur of the moment. But I would have guessed the first thing I would have grabbed though. Ooh. Oh, that was Ooh. sick. That's sick. Ooh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more? Of oh course there's God. more. Why? There's always more. Why? There's always more. Ah, great. Those are all parking in the same <laughs> Ray's spot. Just parking right next to <laughs> He good. He can stay in there. As long as he in there, he good. Oh, jeez. Um, of course. Of course. There we go. There, there we go. I bet. <laughs> love, th love that so much. Oh, her hair looks really sick, too. Yeah. Don't worry. Boba already got his armor. Well, we're going to see Boba strapped up in the armor now. Oh. oh look, at I need to see that. There it is. There it is. He's back. He's back. Yes, he was back. He's back. back. Hey, 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 back, back again. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Boba's <laughs> back, back. Hey, hey, tell your friend. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. Oh, man. Woo. Oh, lit. Looking beautiful. <laughs> Reunited and it feels <laughs> so good. Woo. Look at him. Guy's going off. Woo. <laughs> So pretty. <laughs> oh, watch your six. Oh, from Damn. the kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this fight choreography is literally going, doing it for me right now. Man, Boba is like just schooling these fools. So y'all know who I am? Man, he I used to work for it. your boss. <laughs> I used to work for him. Oh man, look at him. Man. Oh, there's the famous. Yep, there he goes. Yep, gotta love it. You're gonna shoot the top one, right? Yep. And then let the other one fall on the other one. Very smart. <laughs> Say nobody getting back. <laughs> nice try. Nice. You tried, nice. honey. You tried. That's his armor. Oh. Woo, that shot. Did John Favreau direct this? I was aiming for the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprised. <gasps> oh. What? To destroy oh. the Razor Crest. <sighs> Holy crap. Why? Well, RIP Razor Crest. Go get your jetpack, yeah. please. If this man doesn't grab his jetpack, Shan. Have the dark trooper who's been engaged. Oh, oh no. Momentarily. We need a oh, Jedi. Oh my gosh. Ahsoka. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, God. They really coming in for this one. Why is this man not get, get your jetpack, Mando? I understand why it's Shoot, called the Shoot, the Dark Troopers are coming in hot. I Holy understand God. why it's called the tragedy. Oh, whoa, look at them. Oh, they look so sexy. Oh, they look so sexy. Look at that. Look at that oh, armor. My God. Oh, they look sexy. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I didn't know they were come, coming in hot like that. Oh, okay. Oh, they better not get him. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, they no. got him. Don't let them get away. Affirmative. Boba, get him. 
But don't kill Baby Yoda in the process. I don't want the child hurt. Abort pursuit. Disengage. Do not harm the child. Copy. I'll do a loose follow. See where they're headed. But watch your ship, though. Don't get shot down by that Star Destroyer. Please don't kill Boba. The minute he got his armor back, that'll piss me off. Mm -hmm. Like he's literally trying to see what he can salvage. Oh, okay. They have the best car spear, yeah. of course. You see, this is me, Boba Fett. This is my father, Jango Fett. Hmm. Your father was a foundling. Hmm. Mm. I appreciate his return. Hmm. That's big. That deal is complete. Not quite. How so? We agreed, in exchange for the return of my armor, we will ensure the safety of the child. Yeah. <laughs> the child's we are in your debt. Ah, so they're gonna be working together now. Okay, lit. Nice. Lit. Utilization. Honestly, RP to Razor Crest, but I'm so happy when we got some bulb of this episode, yeah. man. Yeah. That's fire. I'm so happy about this. Back especially, on especially because Boba hasn't gotten like too much action in like the movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I'm so happy. He got a to lot see. of uh, he got a lot of legends. Ooh. Marshal of the New Republic. Oh. oh okay. Might have gone legit. New Republic Marshal. Hmm. They have the kid. Gotta break those rules, girl. Mm -hmm. They better change everything. Yeah, I knew they were gonna make her a marshal. Yeah. Nice seeing hyper space again. Love that shot. But you took my you took my kid. <laughs> it's Moff Gideon though. He's really trying to be. You definitely got the big bad vibe. <laughs> the music in the back is really making mm -hmm. it. It's like, I feel like this is Moff Gideon's uh, motif. Oh! <laughs> Yo, knocking the mess out of them, yo. Wow, he's Damn. getting stronger. Yeah, he he's is. He's getting stronger. Oh, he's, he's like, force choking him. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He's giving into the dark side. That's just why you don't take him out. Wait. He wants to see what he's going to do. He's giving into the dark side. Oh, shoot. wow. Because he was stolen from his father. He wants that. Yeah, he was the one that stole him. Dark saber. Oh, jeez. Come years past. Yeah, he knows. Dark saber. You're not ready to play with such things. Life will put an eye out with one of these. Looks like you could use a nice long sleep. Put it in shackles. He has a name. When we come out of hyperspace, send an encrypted message to Dr. Pershing. Oh, man. One. Holy crap, though. Jeez. So much. Like, I wrote so much down. I didn't but write then again, there's too so much. much I forgot. Yeah. You want to start, or, I, or you want me to go? I mean, you can go ahead. Start off. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so before we get into this review, I think we're just gonna give our overall rating of the episode Just so just for those of you guys who don't want to sit down through the whole video for our, our whole thoughts. Yes uh, So what did you feel about the episode overall before we get into the in-depth review? Overall, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the fight sequences enjoyed seeing more Boba and how he brought Fennec back and I just thought the episode was really dope um, until they took my child <laughs> So. But he's getting strong, man. Yeah. So it's no overall. I think I'd give it like nine and a half. Okay. Yeah. Just because I'm deducting half a point because they took my kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Nine and a half. I I overall enjoyed the episode. I think that's what dark troopers are supposed to look like. I think I briefly saw them in the comic books mm -hmm. a couple times. Um, I think I've seen them a couple of times over the years and, and some stuff. I think that's what they're supposed to look like from what I remember, because it's been such a while. Um, I've heard and seen mentions of Dark Troopers for a while. So I think that is what they're supposed to look like. 
Yeah, see? Mm, yeah, so they are robots. So they are kind of like robot kind of, you know, okay. robot kind of vibes. I so believe. they are supposed to be. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, okay. y'all. Um, I've only briefly seen them a little bit, but they look sexy. All right? They look sexy. You were very excited. No, they look sexy. They look good. <laughs> like, they look, they look good. I see some cosplays in the future. They look good. That was pretty. Um, But no, overall, I liked it. Very good episode. I was hyped throughout the whole thing. Both of yeah. us were. I was just so happy to see Boba back, man. Like, mm -hmm. you know... Yeah, I'm like, you can't just tease him and then not do anything exactly. with him. I'm like, maybe like the last episode or something, mm -hmm. they'll bring him back. But I'm like, but now we're going to see him throughout the next, at least through the next, next episode. Next two episodes, I yeah. mean, maybe, possibly, yeah. I will say this, though, um, just uh, before we get into in-depth review. Like I said, 9 out of 10, or 9.5 out of 10. Yeah. Very solid episode, very fast paced. I like the pacing. Mm -hmm. I don't have any major qualms with it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Thinking about my, my lore knowledge and correlating that with the show... Honestly, I really have no issue with this episode at all. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, really have a major problem with it. Um, you know, obviously, they took Baby Yoda or Grogu away. So, that was upsetting. The only thing I really hate was that it took him forever to get his daggone jetpack. Yeah, that you were bothered very me so much. That. Like, that was just such a weird writing choice. Why would they... I wonder... Why was the reason why they didn't have him re reclaim his jetpack at any point throughout that entire yeah. thing? Especially for him, just because, like... it. Yes, it was a chaotic situation, but he's, like trained and it's like think. important for his creed yeah it's important for his culture having yeah. that jetpack like he earned it he was given it like why wouldn't he take it i don't yeah. understand why he wouldn't especially, take the jetpack to try to fly back up to, to grogu to get him back yeah especially when he used it earlier in the episode too exactly so i don't understand why they would just leave it down like that but anyways so nine out of ten that's that that's just something little though yeah um it really brought it bothered me though yeah but um that's probably the only thing mm -hmm. um I wrote down that they were that they was really cute with him playing with his name yeah. at the beginning of the episode. And I put like like the practicing like it's father son bonding. Yeah. <laughs> and that was cute. He's like trying to get him to like use his uh use his um abilities more mm -hmm. and to um practice using them cuz I thought yeah. that was really cool. Um relating to that, I also put that I feel like Mando is going to have a hard time parting with him. Mhm. Mm Just like obviously he has to go with the Jedi to train further. But I feel like Mando's gonna have a really hard time like leaving him. Yeah, I think so too. Cause like that's his, you know, that's his, his son. son. It's like his kid, you know. Yeah. So that was that. Been through many adventures together. Mm hmm. <laughs> I like that we went straight to Tython. It was just straight. Yeah, into the I next... I didn't think it was gonna go to Tython this episode. Yeah. Also, not what I thought Tython was gonna look like. No, not at all. I thought it was gonna be like a temple or. Mm hmm. But that it was gonna be more of a, like you remember when they went to um. Was it Malachor? Malachor in Rebels? Was it Malachor? The Sith Temple? Yeah, was it yeah. Malachor? Malachor? You know, you remember when they went there, how it was um kind of very Je uh, Sith looking? Yeah. I was expecting this place to be very Jedi looking. Yeah, but, then but again, I guess you made a point isn't... with Octu, how Octu was like one of the, the oldest temples yeah. and it didn't look really crazy. It was just kind of like, you know, right. a temple on this land. And even if you look at the Jedi temples on, um, on Lothal, how mm -hmm. they were designed they were very simple right albeit most of them were halfway destroyed right you know most but of them I were guess destroyed this is just like a certain type of temple or something i don't know or ruins are part of a temple yeah. that was destroyed yeah because um the one on the fall did get destroyed too exactly so so and they were destroying temples too yeah so, so um that kind of explains that a little yeah bit, sith temples but... weren't really temple tampered with but the jedi jedi ruins were yeah. a lot of ruins there Jedi's Especially like, like I ain't touching that. <laughs> exactly. Like when uh when Luke was um training with Kylo when he was a lot when they were when Kylo was younger, Luke and Kylo and his um his uh Padawans, they would go around, read the Kylo Ren's uh comic book, because that's where I'm getting this information from. They would go around and they would visit different uh Jedi ruins to go get like Jedi artifacts mm -hmm. and they would get all kinds of cool uh Jedi stuff and like that's how Luke was able to learn more about the force and learn more about right you know his abilities and stuff and that's how he was able to to open a new temple and teach people so um it was kind of cool seeing those ruins so like i understand it kind of looking kind of beat up or just kind of you know a little minuscule i guess yeah it just but, wasn't what i was expecting overall exactly. but it's fine it's not a big deal yeah it's okay it's okay with me yeah it was a directional choice with uh yeah did you have anything else no that was just that's a oh, no, overall? oh no, no, no like written down oh. i'm trying to go with your notes too <laughs> yeah um about fennec that was yeah. interesting that now she's part droid. And, yeah, like cyborg. Kinda. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's kind of cyborg ish yeah. now. I felt like... that she was dead, and I guess he caught her like at the brink. Yeah, he caught her when she was barely clinging on to life. Yeah, so that was interesting. Yeah, so um, that was so that's why they showed that foot at the end. I thought it was just Moth, mm-hmm. but it was Boba. Yeah. So when when people predicted that it was Boba, it was Boba. <laughs> yeah, they were right. So uh, that was pretty good. I'm yeah. um, speaking of Boba, man. It was really awesome to see him in this episode. Just yeah. As soon as I saw his ship and you. Yeah. Did you recognize it? Or yeah, you... I recognized okay. it. Yeah, and when I saw it, I saw it. I was like, man, that's it. Boba's here. It's Yo, so cool to see it. I wrote before, um, like he got his armor back that he was wrecking, mm-hmm. but then <laughs> I'm like, he wasn't wrecking. He was just like. He was just getting by. Mm-hmm. When he put that armor back on, he was wrecking. Yes. Like that that fight this choreography was, was beautiful. Oh man, this is the best we've ever seen Boba yeah. on, on screen. Yes. This is the clues Clone Wars. <laughs> Cause Clone Wars he Boba was a annoyed child. me. <laughs> yeah, you know, he was a child. He was still yeah. learning. Um I wish we saw some of that stuff with him and Cad Bane later on, because Cad Bane mm-hmm. uh Cad but Bane was the one that was. What happened uh, to Cad Bane? I think he died in a shootout with Boba, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, because I didn't actually see this, I read this, that Boba and Cad Bane were, um, and I think Dylan was talking to me about it. Uh, they were doing like a shootout or something, like an old school Western style shootout mm-hmm. or something. And um, when Cad Bane shot, that's how we got that dent mm. on the helmet. So that's what I remember reading. So y'all who know more about that, just correct me if I'm saying something wrong. Yeah. Um, but I believe Boba killed Cad Bane in a duel. Mm-hmm. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but no, it was cool. It was, it was, it was really cool to see him. Yeah. And like I feel like this, honestly, the fight choreo was great. I'm gonna have to watch that fight again. I was just too hyped to absorb all of it because so much was happening yeah. so fast. We had to. It cl- really showed like Boba's abilities too. Mm-hmm. So that was really cool. Another thing about Boba, sorry, that I actually wrote down was um. They added something to Jango Fett's history. Yeah, I was gonna get to that next. Yeah, you wanna, was, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna start? Yeah, I wasn't yeah. expecting him to actually be a foundling. Like I thought he just like killed a Mandalorian or something and exactly. stuck his armor. Like I don't know if that was ever mentioned before. Yeah, yeah. So that was very interesting. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's legit. You know. Yeah. It's not That's just very interesting. Yeah. Because there was always the debate that like Boba is not a true Mandalorian. Yeah. But if his father, I feel like this is a retcon, mm-hmm. and I felt I felt like it was kind of cool. Um, I feel like I think I know what why Dylan was messaging me now. I mm-hmm. think he was going to say what I'm about to mention. Mm-hmm. It was a uniqueness about Boba not being Mandalorian. Yeah, the fact that he was just this bounty hunter that was trying to get by, as he mentioned in this episode. Yeah, trying to just do whatever he got to do. Technically, he himself is not Mandalorian, but. If his son, if his father, here's the thing, it's kind of like an adoption type of like kind of situation, mm-hmm. right? Mando wasn't born a Mandalorian, a Mandalore, mm-hmm. right? Uh, Din, to be more specific, he wasn't born a Mandalore, but he now has his own clan, Clan yeah. Mudhorn. Yeah. He was a foundling, and now Grogu is part of his clan. Mm. Grogu is Clan Mudhorn. Yeah, I guess. So. Gogu is technically but part of the Mandalorian creed. Does it count if he's a clone, though? I don't think that matters because Django, from what I'm getting from this, mm-hmm. Django was a foundling, mm-hmm. which means he was an honorary Mandalorian, mm-hmm. right? So he was, and he said they said he fought with him in the Mandalorian Mandalorian Civil War, mm-hmm. which means that his son, if he is now an honorary Mandalorian, his son would technically be an okay, honorary that's, Mandalorian. That's, fair. that's just where I'm. That's just what I'm thinking right mm-hmm. now. Yeah, that's fair. So if that doesn't make sense, like I'm saying, y'all, feel free to 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 correct me in the comments if what I'm saying doesn't make any sense. That's just kind of what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. I don't okay. know if that's what it is, but that's kind of where what yeah, it's, no, that, I get, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what they're trying to say. I'm just trying to come up with anything that could counteract. No, it, I know. So. I know. Yeah, I know. I mean, technically speaking, because... Either way, it was passed on to him by his father. Mm-hmm. So I guess it technically would make it his whether he is Mandalorian or not. So... Oh, yeah, because he said his chain code, and that was the whole thing. He's showing, he's showing his chain code. Yeah. His father's chain code was in it. Yeah. And it also had other people's chain codes in it, as you saw that. So I wonder who those other people were. Yeah. But um, his dad was there, and obviously him. Yeah. So 
his father is not even biological. His bi- is biologically his father. <laughs> I was about to say something so stupid. It's I'm like, the same. It's literally him. <laughs> no, I was about to say something so stupid. And I can already see the comments getting ready to, to tear me apart. <laughs> like, what is it? What are you talking about? He's literally a clone. He's literally a clone of his father. He is his father. <laughs> well, that's trippy. It is. Uh, no, he is his dad. <laughs> he's his dad. He's a grandpa. He's his grandpa. He's his, he's his son. son. He's his brother. He is. He is. Is. Yes. He is. Yes. <laughs> no, but um, no, that was definitely the best that we've seen Boba on screen. For sure. Um, those kneecap willing yeah. wisps. Like Mando needs to get him some of those. He needs some of those kneecap things. Kneecap gun. Shoot, I can see those things becoming hella useful for him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got the most stupidest image in my head. What? You know, Michael Justin Jackson goes, Woo! <laughs> All I can see is <laughs> Boba doing, Woo! And then the knees come up and it's just. <laughs> All he sees the knee, Woo! <laughs> Stupid. I'm so dumb, yo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson one leg kick. <laughs> gotta get like some on the back of his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you don't. <laughs> this thing. Make this thing. I know. Out. I'm not going. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> no, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I wrote down. Um, yeah, the Jango Fed Foundling and Kara being a New Republic marshal. Yeah, How do you feel about that? I mean, I kind of figured it was gonna happen yeah. after the last time we saw her but he literally I mean, gave her the emblem. yeah i didn't think it was gonna happen that fast though mm-hmm. i'm like you know maybe like by the end of the season but yeah no but now, um she either might get her own show or might be written off entirely because yeah. you know all the controversy with her yeah lots of stuff, stuff going on around so, her lately so. yeah so i don't know what they're gonna do with her character mm-hmm. uh dylan when we were having a conversation about this a couple of days ago, made a very good point about her. Hmm. They, he said he felt like they just didn't know what to do with her. Yeah, after, after the season first one. season. Yeah, I agree. So, like, the one episode, I felt like that was enough. Yeah. So, I don't feel like, I didn't feel like they needed to do, like, have her included further. But, like, she's so much more than just being someone that can get him access to, in, to like, inventory. Yeah. I mean, maybe inventory. Information on a criminal. Yeah. Like, they could have used anyone for that scene. Yeah, exactly. You know, why, like, why use Mando her? Mando got hella connections, man. Yeah. But it could have literally just placed a random character at the front desk. I guess it's because of, like, their connection, too. Yeah, but... I know. But it's like, she only came back in this episode just to be... Well, you know, a receptionist. Maybe it's like, set up for the next episode. It then? might be. It might be. Next I'm episode a... is gonna be crazy. It will be. Oh man. Oh man. The next two big... episodes, man, uh-huh. are gonna be insane. So far, I'm very satisfied with season two. Yeah, no, season two's been great. One episode that was just a little bit meh was with the spiders. Was the spiders? Yeah. And now that you see rebels, you know that those were the same spiders. Oh, okay, so they are the same spiders. I believe so. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I believe so. Just different climates. Um, yeah. I could be wrong, y'all, but I think it's the same spider. Design was the same. Yeah. Um. I literally, I said that in the episode too. I'm like, they they look the exact same. Yeah. No, I think that was the weakest episode in my opinion. Yeah. Um, but it was cool seeing the X wings and mm-hmm. seeing Appa and Dave Filoni yes. and stuff like that. Was really cool. Um. But you keep calling him Appa. Like, yeah. What's his Star Wars name? What's his character name? We can search that up after, just in case it takes us a while. I'm gonna search it up now. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up now. Nah, y'all, but um, yeah, I, I would say for this season as a whole so far, because we're pretty close to the end, we just have to see how it concludes. Um, it was really cool seeing Yoda, I uh, mean Yoda, Grogu, reaching out with the Force. That Carson. Scene, huh? Carson. Oh yeah, Carson. Yeah, he does. Oh, hi, okay, yeah, Carson. Carson and something. Yeah. Anyway, you know, it was um really cool seeing him reach out into the Force. Um, you saw him mm-hmm. like meditating and stuff. Yeah, he was meditating hard. Hard, man. man. But I feel like that's the temple enhanced his uh his whatever force abilities he had. For sure. And yeah. speaking of force abilities, towards how could we end the video without talking about this? I felt like he was reaching into the dark side. I don't know if it was that or if it was more for protection. But he was like choking him. Jedi's don't choke people. Jedi's have choked people. When? In the who? Past. Who choked who? I can't remember specifically, but I feel like they have in the Excluding past. Excluding Anakin. I've n I have I do not remember know. ever seeing any of the main Jedi in the current canon 
mm-hmm. in the 60 year time time frame i don't remember seeing any jedi force chokes well someone. i don't know if he knows exactly what that is either yet because he was trained but i don't know how much he but you was see trained. the thing is though right this goes back to the dark side mm-hmm. it's like your he, he was feeding on his anger and his um his attachment Mm-hmm. So his anger causes him to want to do harmful things because we yeah. saw him force choke Cara Dune. That was his first instinct was to like I'm choke you up, I'm mad at you. Yeah, right. That's what he was doing. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I've never seen a Jedi. I don't know. Choke someone. I felt like he was just kind of scared, and well, he, he was angry. No, I he know. was definitely angry and, well, and I just, scared. I just felt like he didn't know what to do, and it was like. This is how I'm going to protect myself. No, I agree with you. You know? But I'm saying, you know how they always no, talk about yeah, like, no, anger like, and fear leads to the dark side and stuff? Saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with everything you're saying. Because I feel like it's a combination yeah. of all of that. I don't feel like he realizes that's what he's doing, though. I mean, we don't know how much he knows. Yeah. We don't. We really don't know how we much he know. knows. We don't know how much training he's had. We don't mm-hmm. know. Like, we know he has trained, but mm-hmm. how long is... Because obviously he's familiar with the lightsaber. As mm-hmm. you saw when he was like reaching out for the dark saber. Yeah. We don't know if he ever had one as a youngling. That'd be so cute. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I just want to see baby Yoda. You say it's gonna be so hard. I want to. I just want to see Grogu just start flipping like Yoda. Yes, just, yo. I wonder if. Fighting. I wonder if Yoda ever trained him to specifically flip like. <laughs> That'd be. Yaddle. <laughs> Yaddle. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I. uh yeah, we have to see where this goes. Yeah. I, I think he was because he was reaching in. We are we have seen hints of him reaching into the dark side. And I feel like that's his you know, his whole philosophy. I saw this really cool post, like I showed you the one with um him in the future, this fan art, mm-hmm. this fan story or fan fiction, I guess, of him in the future treat uh, training his own pattern one and saying how um holding on to things and affection isn't bad is what you do with it. And it's mm-hmm. like you I, f- I can't give credit to the creator of it. I forgot who made it. Um, I'm gonna look it up. I don't think it showed on Reddit. Did you send it to me on Instagram? I sent it to you on Instagram, but I don't know. That's the wrong one. No, wrong one. Wrong profile. You know, you just switch by holding the button down, by oh. holding the profile button down. Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read what it said. If you guys didn't see it. Okay, I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it. I don't think you it was that far. so much stuff, Jesus. Yeah, you didn't even look at it. <laughs> I sent you mad stuff that you didn't look at. I did look um, at it. Let me see. Where is it? Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. The name of the creator is Advocate Saint. I don't know if he's the one that made it or MJH Blee R Blen Art. I don't know. On, on Instagram. One of those. One of those people. But yeah, no, he was saying that how, or what the Padawan was saying, I don't understand, you can be attached to something but not fear to lose it, and the uh, Grogu says, treasure those around you while you can, and rejoice when they return to the Force. I mean, when they die, death is a part of life. Yada, 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 but it is, once you accept it, the dark side will never take you. So I feel like that might be a whole philosophy that's changing, like, which I feel is a necessary change for the Jedi, like, yeah, I feel like holding on to feelings, I feel like, okay, I feel like you need to have feelings in order to, you know, do what I you gotta do. I think two of the best people, no, I think the best person to hold on to is to control her emotions was Ahsoka. Absolutely. I feel like she's the only one that has actually followed that code to the T, mm-hmm. almost. Almost. Because she no, had... She had a little fling. Not really, though. She had a crush. She had a crush, but she controlled it. She didn't do she anything She did control it. it. That's yeah. what I'm going to say. Like, she, unlike... Freaking Obi Wan and Satine. Obi Wan was out here like. <laughs> yeah, Obi Wan was finna leave for Satine though. <laughs> Obi Wan was like, "Shorty, a little bad. <laughs> she my little boo." That <laughs> <laughs> Obi Wan with Satine. Obi Wan was like. <laughs> so and then Anakin was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Back there, back there. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so nah, nah. But I feel like um, I feel like Ahsoka is the only one that's really truly like, you yeah. know, because obviously there was um, I keep forgetting his name, the separatist guy that she had a crush on. Yeah, I keep, I keep for- forgetting his I name. I don't remember his name, but but she definitely had a crush on him. She definitely had a crush on him. Oh yeah, for, for sure. sure. She definitely had a crush on him. Like you could see it in her eyes. Yeah. The way she looked at him, she was kind of jealous of her with um 
with uh was it Stella or her name? Stila. Stila, yeah. Yeah. Like he was so jealous. Mm-hmm. So, but I feel like she, you know, she she handled it a lot better. Literally, one of my Clone Wars episodes, um, I titled it with the two of them, and it just said a flirt fest. Yeah, no, so... she, she, she was definitely tempted. For yeah, sure. for sure. But I feel like she was able to control her emotions a lot better. Mm-hmm. Um, she was very sad too to find out about Anakin. Yeah. Find out about you know. Like she has a good balance with her emotions. Though. I think so. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like you know this philosophy of being able to, um you know love people and care for people but still be a jedi mm-hmm. was really cool which is what i one of the things i really love about um rebels with kanan and ezra kanan that's like his family it is his and family. ezra yeah. that's like his family so you know does that make them less of a jedi i don't think so you know honestly and like cal as you saw at the end you know yeah cal has his family bonded with marion and Grease and and seer yeah and bd yeah you know so Shoot, Anakin was the most... I feel like Anakin was, was a cancer. He was born in July. He was literally attached to R2. This man literally used a whole Republic ship, a whole Republic rescue, cruiser, yep. just to go rescue R2. Went through all the scrap and everything just to rescue R2. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, um, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, Obi-Wan's droid dies. Oh, he's dead. I need another one. <laughs> like, oh, man. Take that scene in Thor. Another. Another. <laughs> Nah, but I think that's it. All right, you had anything else um, you want to add? I just wanted to add to what you were saying earlier about, um, like, the giving to the dark side. Yeah. I feel like he might have not, like, started that process yet about learning about the dark side and what it means and, like, going through the test. And they then, teach them that when they're very young, I know, young, but, though. like, you know how, like, they go through the test and... What like, test? you know how, like, Ezra, like, went through and, like, had to tap into the dark side? Yeah, at some point, everyone yeah. has to do that. I mean, this might be his, the start of that. Because, like, honestly... Mm, I don't know, though, babe. I don't know about that one. You cannot tell me that not, like, every Jedi has gotten tapped into the dark side at some point. No, they definitely have. So, this is just his... No, no, they definitely have. So, I feel like this is, like, his... But it, but it wasn't, like, a formal... Like, I don't feel like it's in that way, though. It's not, I'm like, not just... I'm not saying it's in that like way. Reaching out into, it's, like, reaching out into the Force. Like, you have to be in a, either a meditative state or go to a place where the Force is the strongest. Yeah. Like, you know, um, like, uh, um... Why am I forgetting the planet? On Dagobah, right? Yeah. On Dagobah, Luke went in there. Yoda went there. When yeah. he when he was on Dago, but a matter of fact, he also went there when he was learning about. Um, even at his, at his older age, he still had to do that. When he, I keep forgetting that planet that he went to yeah, when he spoke remember. to the Force and mm-hmm. he learned about. You know, he spoke with Qui Gon and whatever, and he faced himself. He faced the dark side. Mm-hmm. So you know, it was just like, okay, and um, next, <laughs> literally, he was like, okay, and. Um, but yeah. But no, another thing. Do you think he contacted the Jedi? Because I feel like as soon as Mando left, his, like, meditation left. His meditation left? Like, the barrier thing. Like, he stopped. Wait, wait, what? Like, so okay. Mando left? Yeah, when Mando left to go, he's like, yeah, I'll be back. Just I'm, I'm going to protect you. Yeah, yeah. And then as soon as he left... He, he stopped meditating and... Mm-hmm. I guess he just... I think he was looking. I think the reason why he was doing that was because he was looking. That's why he took so long. Because mm-hmm. he was searching for someone, anyone. Do you think he found someone? Is the question, though. I don't know. That's really a good question. I really hope. Like, I can't say yes or no. Mm-hmm. Just because I don't want to, like, be disappointed if it's a no. Yeah. Just because I want to think that there are... Lots of Jedi still that yeah. are just in hiding, but I we really don't know. Yeah, but I mean I just... obviously there's tons of Force users, you know. Yeah, but like trained Jedi. Yeah, you know. Um, but I Cal. I don't know. Cal and Ezra are my top twos that I want to see. So or some make brand, it happen. Or, some, or I would welcome a brand new Jedi. Completely. I would welcome a brand new Jedi. Too. I would love a brand new Jedi. That'd be cool too. Like a brand new. Padawan that had some type of connection to someone, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, well, I guess that's about yeah. it. Yeah, that's about it for now. Um, you want to close out? 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for now. Make sure you go check out Matthew on his channel. Link will be in the description below. Full reaction will be on Patreon. Link will also be in the description. But yeah, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like what you see, comment down below what your favorite part of this episode was. And make sure to follow me on all my socials as well. They're all down in the description below. But that is it for us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.